This is a passage from the first chapter of my manuscript. Kit walked to the lighthouse. Ivy crept over the worn stone wall, and insects burst under the leaves. As she came closer, Mom's cat opened one eye and flicked his tail. She scratched him behind the ears and stepped over him. The inside of the lighthouse was dim and cool. Its damp stone had a mellow, old smell that Kit had never found anywhere else. A bee flew in, then slipped back out. Kit climbed up the tight, winding staircase, keeping her hand against the cold, bare stone. The stairs were just wide enough for two people to pass each other by flattening against the wall, but Mom said not to do that with Grandma anymore. She thought she was too old and might lose her balance. The light that came through the narrow, slitted windows was faint, but Kit knew the stairs so well she could have kept going with her eyes closed. She had been going up and down the lighthouse since she could walk. Back then, she had been excited to help with grown-up work. But now she recognised the chores what they were. She could have a lot more fun down in the forest. She reached the doorway at the top and paused to catch her breath. Grandma swept the floor while her raven watched, perched on the metal frame that held up the lighthouse's large orange crystal in the centre of the room. Kit, the bird announced with a ruffle of wings. Grandma looked up. There you are. I was in the forest, Kit said. Grandma tossed her a rag. You took so long I thought you might have fallen down a rabbit hole. The windows have been waiting for you. Kit sighed. The windows went all around the circular room. They gave a great view of the island, but keeping them as clean as Grandma wanted took ages. She set to work. Below her, the thick canopy of the forest stretched in every direction. It only stopped with a sliver of rocky beach when it met the sea. The water itself spread unbroken until the horizon. Sometimes, Kit imagined she could see the four other islands of Grandma's stories. According to Grandma, they had once been linked to Kit's home as a single big island. When the four broke away, they each took a crystal to guide the islanders as they built their new worlds. A purple, a green, a white and a black crystal. The fifth orange crystal stayed on Kit's island. One day, Kit hoped to see the other islands for herself. Who knew what they looked like now? They could have more foxes, be covered in berries, or have tiny birds the size of butterflies.